at some point or another in your life, you will reach a stage where you will become discouraged like Mike Tyson. When times like those come, please do the following. Walt Disney says, if you can dream it, you can do it. Abraham says, I know the Lord will make a way. The Lord will provide. Jacob would say, I won't let go of you, Lord, until you bless me. You have to get to a point in your life when you want something so desperate that you have to say to God, I'm not letting go of you. Keep being your best even when you're not getting credit for it. God sees every single sacrifice. Every single one. In other words, pass those tests. Thank you. Generally, when you don't have confidence in your abilities, you rush immaterialism to prove that you are successful. Instead of the business, so would wait for the business to mature and grow. And when the business has matured and grown enough, you are therefore able to buy a Lamborghini when you have sold a stake of, of your business. You have to learn to circulate the money around ourselves. Yes, it might mean you go an extra mile. It doesn't matter. I would rather go an extra mile to support another black person's business than support another person in another community. We have, you know, one of the advantages that we have as South Africans, we have the number. We have the volume. So even though we don't have a lot of money, but we have the volume. Remember, sales is not about just the unit price. It's about the volume. We can circulate billions and build other people's businesses by just making sure we are building on each other and the strength that we have. And we do not tear ourselves apart. In the same way God has already played out the plan for your life, He knows exactly what you need. When you need it, He knows the battles you're going to face and the things you're going to accomplish. That's why we cannot pray away every uncomfortable situation. God is more interested in changing us than in changing our circumstances. And I'd like you to ponder on the fact that God loves you too much to let you stay where you are. It may be uncomfortable, but you have to remind yourself, this is not working against me, this is working for me. You should never go through your life as George Bernard Shaw once reminded us. You see, a life spent in making mistakes is not only more honorable, but more useful than a life spent doing nothing. Some of you, there are so many dreams. This country or this country could be further if only you allowed yourself to be used by God and for the dream that's inside of you to materialize. In other words, when you start your business, you must have an exit strategy from day one. I'm starting my business. My exit strategy is to build a business. I'm just making an example. Is to build my business to be worth 10 million rands. When your business is worth 10 million rands, then you can sell a stake of that business for 2 million rands and then spoil yourself and buy a Lamborghini. But you still own 80% of your business and it's still worth, your, your share is still worth 8 million rands. You continue to grow your business until it gets to a particular level and then you exit. But don't rush that nice car. Let me tell you, that nice car is not going to make you money. What will make you money is that baki that you, your business needs. And when you buy that baki, your baki is going to be an asset and it is going to turn money.